Travis. Thank you for joining this Bible Study Monday on August the 3rd, year of our Lord, 2020. Today, we're going to be looking back at 2006, where the theme was lost and found. Specifically, we'll be looking at the day three, the day three theme, which is lost and found on the cross. Which is fitting, because if you've been to camp here lots, you'll know that we do our passion play each Wednesday. And yeah, so that's what we'll be talking about today. Please grab a Bible and join along. Uh, first, we're going to sing Waymaker. Um, it might be a little bit new for some of you, because it's not a song that we do at camp lots, but... Um, yeah, please join me. Show us today 
that you are by our side through the ups through the downs show us today that even when we don't see it you're here you're working that even when we don't feel it you're here you're working God and that you just you never stop working even when I see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, never stop working. Never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. We make a miracle work, promise in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are a way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. That is who you are. Jesus dying on the cross for our sins. Um, but we're not reading from the Gospels. We're reading um, from Acts. Um, Acts 10, 34 to 48. We're looking at when Peter was sharing a, a story, sharing the story of Jesus dying on the cross for, for our sins and our salvation. Yeah, so if you want to flip to Acts 10, 34 to 48. So Peter opened his mouth and said, Truly I understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation, anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. As for the word that he sent to Israel, preaching good news of peace through Jesus Christ, he is Lord of all. You yourselves know what happened throughout all Judea, beginning from Galilee, after the baptism that John proclaimed, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. He went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. 
And we are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree, but God raised him on the third day and made him to appear, not to all the people, but to us who had been chosen by God as witnesses, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. And he commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one appointed by God to be the judge of the living and the dead. To him, all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. While Peter was still saying these things, the Holy Spirit fell on all who heard the word, and the believers from among the circumcised and who had come with Peter were amazed because the gift of the Holy Spirit was poured out even on the Gentiles. For they were hearing them speaking in tongues and extolling God. Then Peter declared, Can anyone withhold water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit just as we have? And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then they asked him to remain for some days. It's the word of our Lord. Yeah, yeah, so this, given context, Peter is, is preaching this story. He is sharing the story with some people who haven't heard it before. And, yeah, we're going to focus on verse 43. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him receives forgi forgiveness of sins through his name. This forgiveness... That we, we have forgiveness because Jesus died on the cross to give us life, to give us life in Him. Yeah, and God just, God loved us so much that He wanted us to, to be able to draw close to Him. But we couldn't do that with, with the sin that, that gets in the way of us drawing close to the Lord. And we, we are all in need of forgiveness, right? We've all done things that, um, that get in the way of our relationship with God. And the only way that we can be forgiven is through faith in Jesus and his sacrifice for us on the cross. We're not earning this forgiveness, but we're offered the forgiveness by Jesus. That God gave us this free gift of grace. And each day, I know for myself, each day I need to remind myself of this grace that God has given me. On those days where, I, where I'm tired, where I'm maybe a little grumpy, trying to just complain, and, but, but trying to just repent, um, confess to God that I'm having a bad day and that I'm grumpy and and he's good to give us grace. And so we need to, yeah, we just need to be thankful. Thankful to God and, and just keep coming back to him, asking for this forgiveness. The main, the main point back in 2006 on day three, the main point to get across here is that Jesus meets us. Jesus meets us in our deepest need. And our deepest need is forgiveness of sin. So that we can draw close to, to God our Father. The sin is what keeps us away from God. And it, it's what keeps us away from eternal life with Jesus. And we must confess our sins and receive this grace, receive this forgiveness so that we can draw near to Jesus always. So please pray with me. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the sun that is shining. Uh, it's shining here at least. But We thank you God for this opportunity to still be able to come together like this, God. 
And Lord, we confess that we are, we are broken. We continually um, fall in, in sin and in our brokenness, God. Lord, we ask for your forgiveness each and every day. God, I pray for each one who is, who is joining me here. I pray that they would be able to, to go from here and just each day be able to, to turn to you, um, turn towards your forgiveness that you so freely give us, God. I ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. And don't forget to, to tune in again tomorrow to join Connor. Remember, we're set apart but still together. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia.